Cantonese cuisine or more accurately, Guangdong cuisine Chinese, Guangdong Kai also known as Yu cuisine, Yu Kai refers to the cuisine of China's Guangdong province, particularly the provincial capital, Guangzhou Canton, Cantonese, specifically refers to only Guangzhou or the language known as Cantonese associated with it, but people generally refer to Cantonese cuisine to all the cooking styles of the speakers of Yu Chinese languages from within Guangdong. The Teochew cuisine and Hakka cuisine of Guangdong are considered their own styles, as is neighboring Guangxi's cuisine despite also being considered culturally Cantonese. It is one of the eight culinary traditions of Chinese cuisine. Its prominence outside China is due to the large number of Cantonese emigrants. Chefs trained in Cantonese cuisine are highly sought after throughout China. Formerly, most Chinese restaurants in the West served largely Cantonese dishes. Background Guangzhou Canton City, the provincial capital of Guangdong and the center of Cantonese culture, has long been a trading hub and many imported foods and ingredients are used in Cantonese cuisine. Besides pork, beef and chicken, Cantonese cuisine incorporates almost all edible meats, including offal, chicken feet, duck's tongue, frog legs, snakes and snails. However, lamb and goat are less commonly used than in the cuisines of northern or western China. Many cooking methods are used, with steaming and stir-frying being the most favored due to their convenience and rapidity. Other techniques include shallow frying, double steaming, braising and deep frying. For many traditional Cantonese cooks, the flavors of a dish should be well balanced and not greasy. Apart from that, spices should be used in modest amounts to avoid overwhelming the flavors of the primary ingredients, and these ingredients in turn should be at the peak of their freshness and quality. There is no widespread use of fresh herbs in Cantonese cooking, in contrast with their liberal use in other cuisines such as Sichuanese, Vietnamese, Lao, Thai and European. Garlic chives and coriander leaves are notable exceptions, although the former are often used as a vegetable and the latter are usually used as mere garnish in most dishes. Foods Sauces and condiments In Cantonese cuisine, a number of ingredients such as sugar, salt, soy sauce, rice wine, cornstarch, vinegar, scallion and sesame oil, suffice to enhance flavor, although garlic is heavily used in some dishes, especially those in which internal organs, such as entrails, may emit unpleasant odors. Ginger, chili peppers, five-spice powder, powdered black pepper, star anise and a few other spices are also used, but often sparingly. Topic. Dried and preserved ingredients Although Cantonese cooks pay much attention to the freshness of their primary ingredients, Cantonese cuisine also uses a long list of preserved food items to add flavor to a dish. This may be influenced by Hakka cuisine, since the Hakkas were once a dominant group occupying Imperial Hong Kong and other southern territories. Some items gain very intense flavors during the drying, preservation, oxidation process, and some foods are preserved to increase their shelf life. Some chefs combine both dried and fresh varieties of the same items in a dish. Dried items are usually soaked in water to rehydrate before cooking. These ingredients are generally not served à la carte, but rather with vegetables or other Cantonese dishes. Topic: <inaudible> Traditional dishes. A number of dishes have been part of Cantonese cuisine since the earliest territorial establishments of Guangdong. While many of these are on the menus of typical Cantonese restaurants, some simpler ones are more commonly found in Cantonese homes. Homemade Cantonese dishes are usually served with plain white rice. Topic: <inaudible> Deep-fried dishes. There are a small number of deep-fried dishes in Cantonese cuisine, which can often be found as street food. They have been extensively documented in colonial Hong Kong records of the 19th and 20th centuries. A few are synonymous with Cantonese breakfast and lunch, even though these are also part of other cuisines. Topic: 
Topic: Soups. Old fire soup or lu fo tang, lao huo tang, lao huo tang, lao huo tang, lu fai fo tu tang. Old fire cooked soup is a clear broth prepared by simmering meat and other ingredients over a low heat for several hours. Chinese herbs are often used as ingredients. There are basically two ways to make old fire soup, put ingredients and water in the pot and heat it directly on fire, which is called bo tong, bao tang bao tang bao tang, bo one tong one, or put the ingredients in a small stew pot, and put it in a bigger pot filled with water, then heat the bigger pot on fire directly, which is called dun tong, dun tang dun tang dun tang, dun six tong one. The latter way can keep the most original taste of the soup. Soup chain stores or delivery outlets in cities with significant Cantonese populations, such as Hong Kong, serve this dish due to the long preparation time required of slow simmered soup. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Seafood. Due to Guangdong's location along the South China Sea coast, fresh seafood is prominent in Cantonese cuisine, and many Cantonese restaurants keep aquariums or seafood tanks on the premises. In Cantonese cuisine, as in cuisines from other parts of Asia, if seafood has a repugnant odor, strong spices and marinating juices are added, the freshest seafood is odorless and, in Cantonese culinary arts, is best cooked by steaming. For instance, in some recipes, only a small amount of soy sauce, ginger and spring onion is added to steamed fish. In Cantonese cuisine, the light seasoning is used only to bring out the natural sweetness of the seafood. As a rule of thumb, the spiciness of a dish is usually inversely proportionate to the freshness of the ingredients. Topic: <inaudible> Noodle dishes. Noodles are served either in soup broth or fried. These are available as home-cooked meals, on dim sum side menus, or as street food at Dai Pai Dongs, where they can be served with a variety of toppings such as fish balls, beef balls, or fish slices. Su <inaudible> mei <inaudible> Su mei, xiao wei xiao wei xiao wei, su wan mei six is essentially the Chinese rotisserie style of cooking. Unlike most other Cantonese dishes, su mei solely consists of meat, with no vegetables. Lu <laughs> mei Lu mei, lu wei lu wei lu wei, lu five mei six is the name given to dishes made from internal organs, entrails and other left over parts of animals. It is widely available in southern Chinese regions. <laughs> Su lop All Cantonese style cooked meats, including su mei, lu mei, and preserved meat, can be classified as su lop, xiao la xiao la xiao la, su wan lop 6. Su lop also includes dishes such as A typical dish may consist of offal and half an order of multiple varieties of roasted meat. The majority of su lop is white meat. <laughs> Little pot rice Little pot rice, bao zi fan bao zi fan bao zi fan, bo one zi two fan six are dishes cooked and served in a flat-bottomed pot as opposed to a round-bottomed wok. Usually this is a saucepan or braising pan see clay pot cooking. Such dishes are cooked by covering and steaming, making the rice and ingredients very hot and soft. Usually the ingredients are layered on top of the rice with little or no mixing in between. Many standard combinations exist. Topic. Banquet, dinner dishes A number of dishes are traditionally served in Cantonese restaurants only at dinner time. Dim sum restaurants stop serving bamboo basket dishes after the yum cha period equivalent to afternoon tea and begin offering an entirely different menu in the evening. Some dishes are standard while others are regional. Some are customized for special purposes such as Chinese marriages or banquets. Salt and pepper dishes are one of the few spicy dishes. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Dessert. 
After the evening meal, most Cantonese restaurants offer tong sui, tang shui tang shui, tong for seoi two, sugar water, a sweet soup. Many varieties of tong sui are also found in other Chinese cuisines. Some desserts are traditional, while others are recent innovations. The more expensive restaurants usually offer their specialty desserts. Sugar water is the general name of dessert in Guangdong province. It is cooked by adding water and sugar to some other cooking ingredients. It is said that Wajo sugar water is the famous and popular one in Guangdong. There is saying that Chinese sugar water is in Guangdong, and Cantonese sugar water in Wajo. And the booming of Wajo sugar water stores prove it. Topic. Delicacies Certain Cantonese delicacies consist of parts taken from rare or endangered animals, which raises controversy over animal rights and environmental issues. This is often due to alleged health benefits of certain animal products. For example, the continued spreading of the idea that shark cartilage can cure cancer has led to decreased shark populations even though scientific research has found no evidence to support the credibility of shark cartilage as a cancer cure. See also Cantonese cuisine portal Chinese food therapy Dim sum Hong Kong cuisine Macanese cuisine Cantonese culture List of Chinese dishes